So I've got day off work today. It's Friday. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Calgary. Um, I've got a project that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, uh, building some some sound panels. So I've got some insulation. Uh, I just have to go to Home Depot, get some wood, and get some fabric from VB Boutique. And um, yeah, this video, it's just going to explain that whole process. So I got the wood. Eight foot uh, one by threes. And they're all about as straight as I can get them. So, nope. So I'm making these panels at 24 inches, uh, 24 inch full width. So that means the inside pieces have to be 22 and a half inches. So what I'm doing here is just marking them. Some inside pieces at 22 and a half. So it worked well, um, 22 and a half is perfect. Um, and now I'm going to just use these pieces as guides for my next couple pieces, but box one is pretty much done. Okay, so now cut all my pieces. I have three little scraps that I'll, um, I have an idea for, for um, mounting the actual sheet on one of them. So I'm gonna keep these, but let's see. Uh, I've got my, my 22 and a half right here, and my 24s. So the 24s will be, as I said, on the side, and the 22 and a half will go in between. And that will make a uh, perfect uh, square. I'm here in my basement now. Uh, I don't really have a workshop to uh, have a table or anything, but uh, the floor works just fine for laying out uh, what I need to do. Um, so what I picked up were some, uh, some drywall screws. Let me see. Some just six by inch and a quarter. I have my little uh, DeWalt mini drill. With, uh, these drills are kind of weird. Like it was a hundred bucks and it didn't come with a, an actual um, bit that was big enough for a, uh, a drilling bit. So I had to buy this adapter. So, so now I got that. Works pretty good. Kind of, it falls out sometimes, which kind of sucks, but Ah, hundred bucks, you can't really go wrong. Uh, earlier today I picked up some some cloth. So this will go, here's one, and of course you can't be a music studio without having a fucking psychedelic one. So, picked up a few and then a boring kind of gray one, which I went two boring, one psychedelic, just to kind of like even it out. Um, so my goal is, is to have the frame on the outside and to have the insulation inside the box, but I want the covering to go kind of on the inside of the uh, wood. So instead of having it wrap around the wood, I want it to kind of just wrap to this face like that and then shoot out. Um, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube that show, you know, that they just make the box and then they, and then they wrap the whole thing and it looks fine, looks great, but I want to kind of like make it even more fancy because I want to show the outside of this wood. And you know, it's not really great wood or anything, but it's, yeah, I like the natural look of wood. So that's my personal taste. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to just start laying out boxes uh, and then I'll be drilling pilot holes and yeah and of course no great project uh happens without a nice little bit of coffee
All right, so, oops, a little update. Uh, I've been starting to put this together and I just found out that the drywall screws that I got were, they're a little small, but as long as I don't pre-drill with the drill, I should be okay. And they don't seem to split the wood, so I, I think I'm just gonna drive them in and kind of just make them flush to the other side, so. All right, <laughs> that was frustrating, um, but I did get the box. This is what it looks like, um, and it actually turned out pretty nice. This will be the front. Um, you know, it even kind of looks nice as a diamond if you mounted it this way, but I'm gonna probably mount them this way. Uh, you can see here, <laughs> see this little fun action going on? Uh, so initially, when I first put the screws in, I drilled too far with the pilot holes, and I went into this piece, from this piece into this piece, and that was too far, so then these screws just ended up spinning. So then what I did is I just uh, drilled a slightly less deep pilot hole for this middle one, uh, and that was good, and then I just reinforced it with this guy right here, this one. So this will be the back. This this side will be the back, and this will be the front, and uh, it turned out really well. So, also, interesting side note, I knew that the floor wasn't 100% level, but it's like really not level. Like when I put my bit on the ground, it just, it just, yeah, it just starts rolling, rolling off. There it goes. So, the floor is not level, which is fine, as long as I keep the pieces when I'm putting them together, all I'm doing is making sure that they're flush and the ends look good. So then, since I cut them uh, fairly accurately, uh, you end up with like a, a pretty true square. So, we're, we're going to do some more, but uh, of course, coffee time. Rock and roll. That's two, two. That one only, that one took half the amount of time that the other one took and this one actually looks a lot better, so I am happy with that. Alright, last one is done. This one was a bit of a pain. Some of the pieces were, I don't know, cut, like you'll see here. There's a bit of a, a bit of an edge. I don't know why that is, but uh, oh, imperfections in the wood. This is like really cheap wood, so. Um, I got three. Three boxes. So I got three boxes made. Now the plan is to stretch the fabric um, on the inside. Uh, I'm putting this fabric, this is the, uh, the back side. Um, and what I want to do is, I basically want the front to have the wood face and then the fabric to be in line with it, almost like, kind of like a guitar amplifier looking thing. So I've got my fabric here 
And now I'm going to just cut the ends off. And then from there, I'm just going to staple it on. I got a staple staple gun right here. Uh, we'll see how many staples I have. I don't think I have very many, so might be able to get one panel in without going for staples. So um, we'll we'll see. And I'm out of staples. Okay. Gotta make a little staple run, so check back. Alright. Got staples, so I'm gonna finish this up. So now you can see it's got it's got a nice it's got a nice edge here and it doesn't lap over the edge. I think, you know, the, like I said, there's nothing wrong with how I Saw a bunch of people doing it, but I just, I think that this is a much cleaner look. So, one panel down. Okay, so, so many staples later, uh, I've got this. And, man, it is hard to get that edge looking nice. Um, yeah, so that's not really what I'm going for. Um, I want that edge to be little closer to like what's going on here. Um, a little more flush, but for the first panel that's not too bad. Alright, I totally forgot to film, but I found a bit of a technique with the staple gun that works a bit better than what I was doing. So, I ended up just kind of uh, re-stapling the edges. I used probably a million uh, plus one staples, but that's okay because I've got a shit ton. I've got 1500 staples, so this looks a lot better to me. Um, all of the edges are a little more flush. Um, and now, all I have to do is pop in the insulation in this side, which is right here. I'm gonna, uh, right here. Sorry, I'm using the other camera. And I have to probably should use gloves with this because it's fucking fiberglass. So, we'll see what's going on. Here's the second one, a little more, a little more, uh, a little more psychedelic. This one uh, was a lot more difficult. I uh, I tried a different technique, and uh, it did get a nicer seam. But now I've got this little thing here that I don't really like. But you know what? For ten minutes, that's not bad. So that looks pretty cool. For this one, I've got this really ugly looking shit right here, and this toenail, and at first I wanted to try to make it work, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't look good to me. So what I'm going to do is take this piece off, take this, take this piece off, flip it around, then I'll have two new holes to drill from, and then, uh, then it won't look like complete and utter garbage. So. Really, it, it's a quick fix. It's only going to take about 10 minutes. You can see how old this thing is. Look, there's a tag from Zellers. Probably can't see it. Oh yeah, it's all backwards, but... From Zellers. And uh, yeah, that hasn't been a thing for quite a while, so. Alright, what is that? Okay, so, <laughs> to you guys, that wasn't very long, but uh, that took about 17 minutes, but um, this one, 
uh, actually tightness wise has turned out the best. It, uh, it really fucking looks good. Um, the sheet is nicely stretched and if I hit this, it's so tight it actually makes like a little bit of a note. So, um, this one is the best one that I've done yet. So, uh, the stapler really lies to you when you, uh, when you're stapling from the angle that I was from up here like this. So what I'm doing is I'm like holding it with my chin and stapling it from the inside like this. But when you have the stapler here, the stapler actually, if you see that, it doesn't fire right on the edge here. It's in about an eighth, maybe even three sixteenths of an inch from this area. So when you have this pressed against the wood, uh, you actually have to go just a little bit further past the wood to get it flush to the, uh, to the edge, like, like in here. So, um, I will know that for the next few panels, uh, but I have, I have three now. So I have this one, here I'll lay them all out. Three new panels. I still gotta trim off the stuff from that one. Uh, but yeah, I mean these look these look pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy about how they turned out, and it really it, this has been like half of half a day's work, not even. So I still have like a little bit of coffee left. Life's good. The last thing that I'm gonna do before putting any of the uh, insulation in is just kind of clean up the edges here. You see, I've trimmed this one out. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of clean up the. Uh, the edges to prepare for the, uh, the insulation, so... They're all cleaned up. Uh, they look great. And so my next step is to insulate them. And I think I'm gonna go do that outside just cause it's, uh, well, Fucking beauty day out there, and uh, also my room is right above here, so don't really want insulation particles emanating up through the roof. Okay, bye. All right, so now what I've done here is set up a little uh, little insulation station. <laughs> so I'm, it's nice outside. And uh, this rocks rock sole is like pretty hazardous to your lungs. So basically, I'm just gonna load these up with the insulation, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. I have to go get a knife first. Since, since I'm outside, um, I'm not gonna wear a respirator. Um, I should be, but I'm, at least I'm wearing gloves. So we'll start with this guy first. three panels they are they are done. Um, I'm just gonna do a bit of a little cleanup here. Uh, I still have tons of pieces left. I have a full sheet there and a few full sheets in the basement still so um, not too bad. I have some old curtains here and these are just gonna go on the back and it'll just basically prevent the uh, insulation from sliding up. So, be really easy. Had to grab another piece of uh, um, curtain for this final one. And here are the completed panels. So they turned out very well. 
very pleased with this. This one kind of, I don't know what happened, it, uh, the staple came out I think so. And this one, I'm not too happy about those, but you know what? First time doing it, not bad. You know, they, uh, they look good. Even the backs, you know, like using the backs. Still kind of cool. I used a, uh, a level to cut it nice and flush, so yeah, and these actually do quite a bit of dampening, like um, I put my ear up to next up to them and uh, they were doing some dampening, so yeah, pretty pretty happy with how they turned out.